Hey, this is Dan again with Puts Ponds and Gardens. I'm in my backyard. Got a phone call the other day and I had a client ask me, so how are you handling this Southeast Michigan weather to where it's, you know, it's cold, it's freezing, ponds aren't opening up yet, it's mid-March. What do you do? So, this is what I tell them. Come on along, check it out. And this is how I occupy my time right now. So I came out and I was looking at my pond and I noticed that there was a lot of string algae growing. That string algae, for me, is driving me crazy. String algae is a good thing in a pond. It tells me that it's a healthy ecosystem. The pond itself, the plants are not up and thriving yet. Ba beneficial bacteria are not consuming excessive waste in a pond. It's not until after a pond clean out that that pond gets a chance to rebound. When that pond gets a chance to rebound, what it's doing is the plants are starting to thrive. The excessive nutrients have been rinsed out during a good spring clean out. Your beneficial bacteria are going to, we start here with cold water beneficial bacteria. Those beneficial bacteria start colonizing up in your biological filters, down in your streams in the gravel in your streams, on the surface of the rocks and gravel inside a pond. So what those do is, beneficial bacteria is if you think of them as like tiny, tiny plants, they're a living organism that needs a food source. That food source is provided from rotting leaves, fish waste. Anything that can break down in your pond is going to be food for your pond. So. Mother Nature decided to make algae a cold water plant. So that's why you'll see algae blooms come spring. A good pond clean out helps to balance out your pond. Gets rid of those excessive nutrients in the bottom of your pond is where you'll start seeing a lot of excessive algae growth. So a good spring clean out along with starting beneficial bacteria, the plants starting to thrive in your pond, all those in conjunction working together, they end up balancing out your pond. Now you can see down here, see the shadow of my camera, but right down in there, my water lilies are actually starting to grow. That's a great sign. I think it's kind of early. Got two of them in here. Hopefully both of them come back. You can kind of see the algae growth, the fuzz on the rock. It's not pretty, but I vacuumed up a lot of it. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go through with my pond vac. I'm going to pick up as much of the excessive leaves that are at the bottom of the pond and I'm going to then um, maybe vacuum up some of the string algae knowing that full well it's probably a little too early and that's okay. Um, gets me out of the house and gets me uh, maintaining my own pond.
All right, thanks for watching. And if you have any comments, please leave some comments below. Make sure you subscribe to our blog. That way you can stay up to date with it. Thanks again for watching. Make it a great day.